Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. I'm glad you joined me today as we take a quick look at a few of the most interesting knives and gear that I found this year. Today we're going to be taking a look at some classic and new look EDC pocket blades from Case Knives, which is one of the last standing legacy knife brands still making pocket knives in the USA. But before we get into these great knives from Case, make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more great videos in this quick look series. And you're going to want to check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com to keep tabs on everything we're up to, including all the unique survival and preparedness gear that we have rolling out over the next few months. All right, let's get into this quick look at Case Knives. Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm here at the Case booth and I'm here with Mari. Yes, sir. From it, Case. You've yes, been here yes. a long time, bro, haven't yeah, you? David, I have been here since Saturday. So <laughs> week, almost a week. Okay, so uh, you've only been at you've only been with Case for four days. Four days and you know all this stuff well, about their whole history and everything. I, I've actually been with Case for almost 31 years. So okay. I, wow, I, I, wow. I cut my teeth on the Case brand. I've been around uh, that long? Uh, Case brand? Yeah. 134, bro. Oh, no, I knew that. I'm but <laughs> I was talking to Fred yesterday. It's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Uh, USA made, 134 years old. It's just a great brand. And yeah. that's why for me it's been the perfect career because you get to you get to meet great people. You get to see these products that are great in the in use. They're great. People use them as collector's items, they're heirlooms. Uh, but they're just awesome knives. And you guys are you guys make these in my home state. That's right, Pennsylvania. That's right. They said I'm gonna right come visit. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm gonna come visit now. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. You need to. It, it is amazing. Always say if you can get anybody through the factory, you know, we're an upper end, USA made, uh, use fine quality materials, but it's it's a little more expensive. You get them through that factory and you'll be like, man, I don't know how in the world you do that for what you do it for. Yeah, so yeah. It, is a, it is a lost art in some ways, but it is artisanship at its finest. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, we've got a knife brand and I can't find a U.S. maker of a pocket knife anymore. There, there are not many. There's there not, not many, many, yeah. So, and, and so. we're proud, you know, that's one of the, the core strengths of our DNA is that we are American made. We're family owned, we're, we're privately owned, so that is the commitment of the owner. One of the few, everybody's been selling out yeah, the last couple of years. Has, you know, I, I, don't, I don't judge that because I right, know right, there's yeah. business decisions that factor in. I am just thankful that our core values, American made, the community in Bradford, Pennsylvania, we got people that have worked at our factory for 40, 50 years. Oh, that's, second that's generation. That's amazing, man. It, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It makes it special. Yeah. It makes it special. So you guys are traditionally known as like, one of the original like folding pocket yes. knife from like way back in yes. the industrial revolution times. So, yeah. Yeah. Since 1889, we've been making the slip joints, you know, yeah, yeah. a lot of household cutlery early on, uh, but these bolstered uh, bone handle, synthetic handle, back spring, what, what the industry calls slip joints. So yep. that, that is our, that's the core of who we are. Uh, that's what everybody usually recognizes from case. Uh, but then we've kind of we've kind of shaken it up. Yeah, the last couple of years. I, yeah. When I stopped by here, Fred was telling me that you guys are moving into more EDC. Yes. Not more EDC, but in addition to the great stuff you're doing with the slip joint so, folders. You're, so at Case, yeah. being being an old Case guy, they yeah. said EDC. I said, what is that? This has been. I do know, I do know that. They're like everyday carry. I'm like, why are you only referring to black knives and, and knives with with pocket clips? Because case has always been everyday, everyday carry. carry, but we look at the modern EDC. So we look right, at our right, modern right. EDC yep. side that we're, we're going for, um, and that's where it, and we're not we're moving that direction because we feel like that's a great expansion. Uh, we're not departing from our core. Yes, um, yeah. This is going to be great. You know, often say, that's what I meant to say, but yeah, you no, said it way better. No, yeah, no, no, no. Right, I, right. I get it. Uh, we often get people that'll say, well, you know, my granddad or my dad said, if it's not a case knife, you really don't have a knife but they liked to carry something more modern. Yep. Uh, so I always said, you know, case is a knife your grandfather recommended you to have. Right. Um, this is the knife that maybe you can show your grandfather. Your grandfather endorsed, but maybe yep. you want that knife that's gonna have a right. pocket clip, the, the high quality, high performance steel, uh, just some of that cool stuff yeah. too. Yeah, so you wanna tell us, uh, just take us through yeah, here. These are kind of like classics. Yeah, I'll just give you a rundown. Again, we'll start with and then this. We'll, then we'll end on the newer. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, okay, sir. cool. Because this is kind of the core. So when you look at our core, you're going to have things like the trapper. Uh, we've got a bone yep. stag. We do handle material, natural handle materials better than anybody. I'm a little biased, but better than anybody. This is a natural material. 
Uh, this is our American Workman, so that's a red synthetic, uh, and it's going to have the Stars and Stripes shield. Again, patriotic Amen. to the death. Yeah. Uh, that nice. has carbon steel blades, so some of the things that we do have the old style blades. Mm -hmm. It'll rust. Man, you can put a razor edge on that with little effort. Uh, and then you got the one-handed opening. This was our original kind of entry into the one-handed opening knife. Okay, yeah. It was a rust lock. Nice. Uh, great design. It's kind of mirrored after the old straight razor. So a lot of history and heritage in those patterns, in the handle material and everything about it, which is blade steel, you know, traditional tested double X meant that we tempered it twice. Uh, we always used a steel that was easier to sharpen. Uh, and then the high carbon. So we do a lot of high carbon steel, which is the old steel. What yep. a lot of our collectors will say, or just users will say, man, and there's, there's a move back to carbon steel. steel. There's yeah. a move back to it. We get a lot back for repairs that just pitted and rusted. Right, right. Like, we'll clean it up. But man, that's that's the beauty of that knife. So, right. Yep. Um, so this is this is kind of who everybody knows us to be. Uh, we looked in 2021 is when we introduced our first modern style knife, and it was the Marilla and the Kinzu. Um, it came out, we won the American Made Knife of the Year at the Blade Show in 2021. Nice. Big step for us because those are all modern knives. So that was kind of our entry. We've got an anodized aluminum handle. We've got an S35 VN steel, a stonewashed Ooh, blade. Nice. These have a deep carry pocket clip. Uh, you're going to see this is a frame lock as well. Uh, you're just going to see some, some great attributes to this anodized aluminum handle. I think I said that. Um, just a fantastic knife. And still made in the USA. Still made in the USA. So a cool thing about this, and you being from Pennsylvania, you probably get it for sure. So this is called the Marilla. And I noticed you have that Pennsylvania accent. Too. Oh yeah, you can tell. I live in Tennessee. I said they won't let me in Pennsylvania except for a little stints at a time. Um, but all of these, so the Marilla, the Kinzu, and the Westline, and I'll show you those in a minute. But what's so cool is because our heritage is so strong in Bradford, and somebody asked me, what, what oh, the Kinzu, right, 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 like the Kinzu. Kinzu. Uh, yeah. If you're familiar with that, yep. the, uh, the Marilla is also, I had to ask them, people, I said, now one, how do you, how do you say Kinzu? Because it's spelled like Kinzua. Right. And they're like, well, you say Kinzua if you're not from Bradford. Like, right, 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 right. Kinzu. <laughs> so the Kinzu Bridge, the Kinzu Kinzu's area, yep. um, the West Line is an area just outside of Bradford. Yes. Um, just a beautiful area, great yep. fishing, great, West, great outdoors. West Line for the railroads, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So. All of these names have a heritage with kind of that community, that McKean County. And that is because there's so much pride in doing modern knives in our factory, the same factory that does this, doing them all in the USA. Uh, we bought equipment that we've never had before with, we got water jets, uh, we're, we're doing, we got screw machines, we got things like that. So uh, we can do this in house. There's a lot of company that are, companies that are just holding the line in the US and yes. you guys are actually expanding and and yes. increasing the tech that you're using. A, a huge investment. And again, yeah. we're owned by Zippo Manufacturing. We're, we're blessed that it is family owned. They're committed to not only the brand, but the community. They want to they want to employ as many people as we can. We want to keep it all in Bradford, but mainly keep it all in the USA. Yes. Uh, and that is right. So there's a lot of investment going on. Uh, you've got the Marilla again. That was the knife of the year. Uh, this is our Kinzu, yeah. not Kinzu. I mean, you can call it Kinzu a lot of people <laughs> do. Uh, if, you, if you look at it on a spelled out, you're going to call it a Kinzua yeah. if you're not familiar with that yep. area. Uh, we do this in both a Tonto blade and also in a spear point. Nice. Again, S35 uh, steel. You know, when we talk about historic case, people talk about our steel. It's really our tempering. Um, this is the performance steel. So this yep, is a yep. steel, man. The, the folks that are out giving this whatever in their work or outdoor yep. life, uh, this steel is going to hold up. Folks, you want to talk a little bit about S35VN for those people who don't know? Yeah, so, you know, when you look at, this is a crucible steel. So yes. when you look at some of those great performance steels, you know, some of the characteristics of that is not only its toughness, it will hold an edge fantastic. Right. Uh, but I think the toughness is probably the one quality. You know, we've done some 20 CV and, you know, it, that gives you great edge retention and toughness. This does the same thing. but. When you look at that performance steel, it is a step above. You know, as we got into the modern, our steel is great. We're still, you know, we'll stand by that. It's it's great, lifetime guarantee. Uh, but when you look at this steel, this is that. If you are really going to be rugged with your knife, uh, you know, part of our tagline is these things are made to do. So you go out, you do whatever you need to do. Yeah. We don't, you know. Pry bars are not something that fall within our warranty. <laughs> but I can tell you, I've been carrying a Marilla for. Uh, I've been carrying a Marilla for almost, well, almost two years now. I got it in the wrong pocket. 
uh, access which it was on. And I have worn that thing out and I've only sharpened it once. And I'm not a great sharpener either, so. Um, yep. But you don't need to. You great. don't need to. It holds yep. an edge great. It's something that will that will last and last and last. Um, so that S35, you're gonna find it across all channels right now in our modern. You're gonna find it in the Marilla, uh, the Kenzu, and the anodized aluminum handles. We're gonna have black, blue. Um, one of the things when we got into it, everybody said, well, if it's modern, it needs to be black. Black knives, you know, everybody's about black knives. So we're like, okay. Well, we also did a blue and a red just because we're a case and we're, yeah. you know, all of our colors, as you see here. And they're your best sellers. Yeah, they came out. <laughs> like, I want the blue one. I want the red. I was like, what about the black one? Right, right, um, right. Yeah. As it's been out, you know, almost two years now, they've kind of narrowed down. But black sells good, but the blue and the red do well. Uh, we do an OD green. We also nice. now, we have, uh, we have one in brown and we have the orange. Um, so we've got those two that were kind of our initial launch. Nice. This year at the show, we're kind of upping our game a little bit, and this is the West Line. Okay. Uh, this is this is a liner lock, not a frame lock, but this is an assisted opening. So you know we want nice. we wanted to nice. do something great. Yep. Um, this blade is just made for utility. Uh, we have talked to so many people, and the first thing they said they said you know this is substantial in your hand. Um, but the blade, just the, just the cutting geometry on that blade, is just fantastic. Nice. Uh, you've got the, the thumb stud that's dual sided. Again, you've got the liner lock instead of the frame lock. You've got the deep carry pocket clip and the anodized aluminum handles on those as well. So uh, this starting out is gonna be blue and red because obviously that came out strong, black, <laughs> and we have a clear anodized in that. Ah, okay. Um, so this is at the SHOT Show and in 2023, the West Line. Uh, is going to be one of our, our big hits. Uh, we're still doing extremely well with those. Uh, we also kind of upped the game on mm -hmm. our our Kenzu. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we are owned by Zippo. I mentioned that. But they are world class in their deco techniques. So, uh, so we okay. borrowed some of their engineers to say, okay, if we wanted to kind of personalize these, maybe, maybe you do something that represents you or you like camo or you like snake skin, whatever it may be. Uh, we can. Those are really well them. done. Yeah, uh, they're they're super well done. We can photo image. We can laser engrave. We can do some things. So, in our line, we've got five that we're starting out with. We're going to have a custom program where you can custom. Uh, initially, it's going to be a few pieces, so it probably wouldn't be applicable to, at the consumer level yet. Uh, but you're going to see some limited production ones of that. Uh, again, that's just great. We can do both sides. Wow. We've got wow. some DLC coating on that blade, that diamond light coating. I have no idea how you do that. Uh, you know, it, it's, it, like in the notches and everything? Well, yeah. so what they have to do, they have to do that before they assemble the knife. Too, ah, okay. So you're going to see nice. it. But you look, even the camo, this is just. Ah, it's beautiful. Just a even on the blade, yeah. Yeah. And you start you start with a black one there. So you're like, man, that really changed the whole thing. Um, but just very, very nice. So you're going to see we got some skulls, we got some faux Damascus, we've got. Uh, a lot of different things, but that's going to continue to evolve and develop in there. Um, so this modern side, we're excited about, man. But yeah. I always tell folks, because again, I'm not a hardcore case guy, <laughs> is that traditional knives is who we are. You right. Know, we, we've got some real exciting. You stuff carry there. both, don't you? I got both. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I never. Uh, it, and if I only have one, it's usually my traditional. But I haven't been without both. So I always have. You know, I'm going to have a, just a small pocket knife. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to have a modern. This is my everyday carry. Then I have a modern everyday carry. Yes, so, right, right. Nice. So when we say EDC, I think with Casey's a campaign. Hey, EDC means what you're carrying, man. Right. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be black and modern exactly. and all that. But yep. um but but it is really cool. It's cool yep. to work for the brand, cool to be a part of something that has such a rich history that's American made and, and American proud. So, yeah. That's so, awesome. Okay. So man, I'm getting back to a lot of like full reviews. Think you guys can get me some of these so I can do like I, absolutely, man, oh, absolutely, awesome. awesome. But we yeah. love we love what you're doing out there. We love that you know, obviously what you guys take it to the test, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and these will stand that test. But yeah, we'll get you some product for review. We'll get yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, let me know in the comments which of these you would like me to review first, yeah. and that's what we'll do. Okay, that's good. And so, how do people find you? Uh, well, they can go to our website, okay. com. That's where they can find the full line, the story. If you like the backstory, you like the history. Yeah. Uh, man, we got a lot of history. Yeah. So you can just kind of get lost in there. Uh, but caseknives.com, we've got retailers all across the country. We've got a dealer locator. Uh, we always love to support our dealers. So if you go to our website, you can type in your zip code. You can select the radius. Uh, you can find dealers, a silver, gold, platinum, or master dealer near you. Uh, we've got some folks that also sell online, so you'll be able to do that. But, um, 
American made. We support brick and mortar a lot. So uh, hopefully you'll go to your brick and mortar. Yep. But at caseknives.com is your source for all that information. Good. So. And Fred, we're going to schedule a tour, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. In that factory, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Yeah. You could do hours and hours of video just, just right. on that. So, Mari, thank you for your time. Hey, thank you, David. I appreciate it. All right. Good it. luck with the rest of the show. Yes, sir. All right. We've just taken a look at some great new pocket blades from Case Knives. For your convenience, I've put links to all the gear mentioned in the description. And let me know what you think of this new gear in the comments section. And if you're excited to see Ultimate Survival Tips back with a new season of videos and after a really long break, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon to be the first to know about every weekly video we roll out this season. And for some sweet new knives and innovative survival and preparedness gear, and to subscribe to my weekly survival emag for latest tips, new gear giveaways, and lessons learned from current events, go check out our mothership at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.